Now that's a monster. Wow, two inch. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy New Year's, happy New Year's. Today is Thursday, December 30th, 2021. And it may be the last video of the year, but I just wanna say that now. Hope everyone has a happy and healthy New Year. And God willing, 2022 should be even better for all of us than 2021. All right, I'm going to a service call to give Daniel son some guidance. He is at a job in Gibson, right? Which is, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. Which is part of Valley Stream. He's working on a Penco gas-fired steam boiler. And the service call was dispatched as leak from sight glass and leaks from showerhead. However, the showerhead leak was phantom, it went away. But the gentleman also has some uh, steam pipes that are leaking inside walls and ceilings. So Daniel asked if I can come out and give him a hand and see what we can do about these, these pipings that's leaking, the pipings, the pipe that is leaking in the uh, ceiling and in the wall, so. I'll try to take some video along the way and at least we can entertain and educate for the end of the year. All right, let's get going, guys. Done. Timer flash seven times. BT system. You ain't testing, you're and guessing. That's why I implement policies. Oh, it, it, it does that again. Every boiler. And every system we work on, right, we check the steam, the, the relief valve. And this is a Penco steam boiler with a 30. Where is it? 30 PSI relief valve. This needs to be a 15 PSI relief valve. Okay? So. Hi, I'm in pale right there. Okay. So, but I'm concerned. I'm making a video of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna show any faces. Though. It's no fine. Um, I, I like to ask questions because yeah. by asking questions, I can get information that can help me make a better diagnosis. Okay. Right. We're talking, just chit chatting upstairs. We're getting an understanding. That you had, I guess, seven radiators. You actually have six. Yeah. Actually, five. The boiler is grossly oversized. It's not piped in right. But you made it. You said that I had asked, how often do you hear the automatic water feed add water? And you said sometimes twice a day. Yeah. So now let's think logically. If, if the boiler is replacing water twice a day, where is the water going? Okay. Now I know we have two lines that are leaking, right? But you'd have to be losing buckets of water, like, like that orange lump, not five gallon buckets, but you'd be losing yeah. buckets like that, you know, every day, and you'd have a crazy amount of like water damage. You would. Okay. So now the other question is, on every radiator is a little silver thing, and that silver thing is called an air valve. Okay. Do you hear them go Yes. How often? And constantly or all the time? It's all the time. Okay. So that right there, as long as we're not building up too much pressure, right? The hissing out of, out of, out of X amount of steam radiator air valves is your water loss. Oh. So let me tell you what's going to happen if, if you don't correct that or if we don't help you correct that, right? Okay. The boiler is replacing, by means of the automatic water feed, the boiler is replacing the water that's, le that's losing out of the steam radiator air valves. Okay. The hissing you're hearing is steam leaving. Steam okay. is water. Steam is water. Yeah. Now, I know your boiler is old, but it's not that old. Mm -hmm. However, if that process continues okay. in a relatively short period of time, yes. right, one day you're gonna come home or your neighbors are gonna notice you and they say, hey, you know, you have white smoke coming out of the top of your chimney, oh. right? That white smoke will, will be steam that the boiler is creating which is going up the chimney and heating the atmosphere instead of heating your house. Oh, okay. Because you will have a hole above the water line and the boiler. I see. So one of the things that you know we do, my company does, is when we work on a steam boiler, mm -hmm. one of the first things we do right away is fill it up to the top okay. of the boiler. Yeah. Because by filling the entire boiler with water, which, which, which is never really that's the case, because you know, as a side glass there, you can see it's halfway full. Yeah. By filling the, the boiler completely full to the top of, of water, 
we're confirming if it's, if it's integrity. Is it solid? If there's any fractures or cracks or holes in the cast iron, which you don't see in here, but this is the cast iron. Okay. See these sections? One, two, three, four, five. Those are your cast iron sections, and then they're all sandwiched together, okay. and there are these gaskets in between each one of them. Okay. But above the water line, as it boiler is constantly being replenished with fresh oxygenated water, it will cut a hole above the, above the, above the water line in the boiler. Okay. And you'll have white smoke coming on the top of your chimney, and that's an instant new boiler. It'll still work until you can't afford it anymore. Because you're, you're heating the atmosphere, you're heating earth, you know, the instead sky, of the instead, of, instead of your house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but that will be the time yes. when you put the right size boiler in and, and pipe it in the right way. Okay. Because by, by it not being piped in this way, yeah. it's, it's, it's and it'll still work. But is it working efficiently is the question. Yeah, yeah. And the answer to that question is no. Okay. All right. There's a great video I just recently saw. You had mentioned YouTube. Yeah. On the infamous Mikey Pipes, right? Mikey Pipes. So <laughs> I had just watched a video. I, it was the night before last uh, by Whale McLean. Whale McLean cr cr creates boilers. They produce boilers. They manufacture yeah. boilers. And the video is X amount of years. That's probably like 20 years old. But all the piping above the boiler yeah. is in glass. Wow. And you can actually see, right, the water and the steam Pouring, jumping out of the boiler like it wants to like escape, like running, like yeah. like, like, like escape from a prison, right? And it just it, it makes you think, like, wow, like you may, you may not think, okay, the water level is here, but it's actually when it's boiling water, it's yeah. all the way up there, oh. right? and that's why the piping on top of boiler needs to be the way it, it, it says in the manual okay. to prevent problems I see. and to help it make it more efficient. You guys used to really watch that video; it's an incredible, incredible, incredible video. Some... And the question I had, and I don't know if it, the, the, I think the video is like eight, ten years old, however, but I asked the question, like because I couldn't see the water level of the boiler, like you see in a side yeah, glass, like and I like to know what that is, and also know what pressure the boiler is at, okay. because it was like violent. The water and the and the glass, uh, the glass uh, piping that they had assembled, was like, like there was a war inside there, like really, like it was crazy, it was crazy. So, how many of your steam radiator air valves are continuously? It will be like... Psst. Oh, but psst. all the time? Psst. All the time. Everything. Every, all all the time. of them? Did we check the pressure control yet? No, not yet. Okay. Power pigtail might be clogged, but I see it's brass. But it may or may not be clogged. Pressure control may not work, but if the it's pressure... Not the thing is like... Psst. Is that... Yeah, but it'll it be intervals. Yeah, but, it'll, be, but it, it'll, it'll still it, continue it, probably. Yeah, I don't but, know. It, but it should stop though. It will stop once the cycle stops, and then <laughs> <laughs> because I'm I'm trying to as a technician now, yeah. right? I'm trying to gather information from you yeah. to find out where this water is going. Yeah, because because if, if, if yeah. you hear that automatic feed filling once or twice a day, where is the water going? That's what I need to know. Oh, okay. And but if the oh he's cutting the side glass. Look at that. Watch that on YouTube. Let's see if you can do it the first right the first time. It takes me forever because I'm weak. Because you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat your Wheaties for breakfast, Daniel, instead of those. Uh, was it a tuna sandwich from Seven Eleven? Today was. Uh, it's called the Italian Job. The Italian job. Wow, that just sounds dangerous, by the way. By the way, um, today is Lisa Parrish's birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa Parrish. Happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa and Jeff are not only uh, subscribers to the channel, they're also members, right, of the Mikey Pipes YouTube channel. And membership has its privileges. For the little as $2.99 a month, you can help support the channel. With your small contribution of $2.99 a month. It's cheaper than a cup of coffee. All right. I think you scoured that enough times. You don't have to do it continuously. It's not like a pipe cutter where yeah, it's going to... Last time I scoured it like crazy and when I went to crack it, it still yeah. broke. Technically, you should be able to just do it once. Go around once. Yeah. Got enough pressure on there? Okay. So I'm going to take it out and just tap it. Let's see if he does it. It's not going to work. So you don't have faith in yourself. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hold on. See, that's what you're doing wrong. Give me. Hold that. You were going to hit right there, right? Yeah. Oh, it didn't go. 
Oh, what the hell? See? I think the cotter just stinks. Not budge. You have a bad cutter. This could be a. Looks like someone had the same idea with that one, too. <laughs> Let me get my cutter. Yeah. It is what it is. Membership has its privileges. We have, I think, four different levels of membership. The cheapest is $2.99 a month. And again, it really, really helps. Uh, your small contribution helps to support the channel. You know, it helps, you know, with just great things that we do, like the giveaways and other stuff like that. But uh, there's multiple levels. On a desktop, you can see on, on your, uh, right below this, this video, you'll see, let's say join or member. You click that for more information. All right, and happy birthday, Lisa. So let's review. Well, Daniel's working on the sight glass gauge and valves. Let's review how this boiler is piped in, which is wrong, of course, right? Let's see. Right there, right? We have a street 90. See that? Mm -hmm. That is a two inch street 90 and it's not a steam fitting, right? This is a steam fitting. This is not. So they, what they should have done is come out there. Now there's no tappings on the top of the boiler, unlike the berms I like to put in. You come out of the side with a nipple, you take a two inch steam 90 and you come up and you come up 21 inches above the top of the boiler. Now this is not the top of the boiler. The top of the boiler is where the cast iron ends, which is right there. So right around here. So from here to here is 21 inches. And you come up, you come across, and you can either make yourself a drop header, which is elbow down and then come across, or you elbow over and then you have a T. You have a T picking up one of the steam mains, and then you have another nipple or another piece of pipe, and a T picking up the other steam main, and you come across. Now on this boiler, our, so we have another tapping there. We may have another tapping on this side, but then you come back to that one pipe right there, right? And that is your equalizer. And along the way, from the end of this near boiler piping, you drop down, you put a T in, and the T, which is that, is your Hartford loop T, and that is halfway the level of the cyclist. And this, which is a six inch nipple, right, which is wrong, this becomes a close or shoulder, right? Because you don't want this wide like this. The wider that is, the, le the more increased opportunity for, you know, it to get clogged up with rust and debris and corrosion, things like One that. One thing you never, ever, ever, ever do is you take a 30 PSI, or you put the wrong relief, forget about 30, 30 PSI, you put the wrong relief valve on an appliance, right? You don't do that. Someone took the liberty and it's, just, and I'm sure that you, I'm sure this occurs all the time, this. And we just never have previously no looked for that as part of our, you know, order of procedure, order of operations of a service call, right? This is a company policy. We look to make sure there's the right relief valve on the appliance. This needs to have a 15 PSI relief valve rated for the BTUs of the boiler, not a... 510,000 BTU hour Zern Wilkins set for 30 PSI. This relief valve goes on a big giant behemoth of a hydronic boiler that operates at, you know, 12, 15 PSI. Not a steam boiler that operates at half a PSI. Knuckleheads. Uh, handyman. He oh, everything himself. Chuck with a truck. Yeah. <laughs> the original homeowner was a Chuck with a truck. And he liked shopping at Home Depot. He was a Home Depot shopper. You mad at me? I think you know why. He's a Home Depot shopper. And you look, you have cocky. The relief valve. Ooh, it's leaking too. Make sure we make sure we add a uh, relief valve there as well. Okay. I mean a drip like. Home Depot. Oh, we 
Well, this one, yeah, ask if you want to replace it. This is a long shank. You have it in the truck. But the question is, this looks, this looks like a fairly new water heater, which it is. It's from 2018. I love it when they say, do not return this water heater to the place of purchase. Call us and we'll help you. Matter of fact, I'm going to call them. Press yeah, troll? It's about four. <laughs> that don't help. I said, blow it. Stick it in your mouth and blow. Oh, it's clear. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's clear. Came back at you. Yeah, but I did have to blow pretty hard to get it. You did have to blow pretty hard? Yeah. It may have had a little bit of water in there. There was definitely water, yeah. Yeah. You had a little water in the pigtail. And the purpose, you know what the purpose of the pigtail is, Daniel? To turn the boiler off if the pressure gets too hot. Oh, this is to <laughs> keep latent heat. There you go. Off. Perfect. See? Perfect. Dan Hollihan would be very proud of you. We love Dan Hollihan and the folks over at heatinghelp.com. I want to see that glass boiler video now. You want to see it? Let me see yeah. if I can find it. I found the video with the Whale McLean. Let me show this to you guys. It's... Pretty epic. And I'm going to put a link down in the description box down below. Look at that. Look how high that water's boiling up. And that's why you need to have that 24 inches. See that? That's why you need 24 inches. And I, cannot, I can't even imagine if, I, if you elbow that down and create a drop header, how much more efficient that would be. I'm going to start doing that from now on. Drop header. Is that a U.S. boiler company van <laughs> next to the Whale McLean? I think it is. <laughs> sure is. I bet you that is. That's, that's definitely U.S. boiler. It's a great video. I'll put a link down in the description box down below. I'll keep blowing it off. Wow. Awesome. All right, so we have the new... 15 PSI relief valve. Got that from the truck. Daniel's taking off the improper and unsafe 30 PSI relief valve off the top of the boiler. And he's going to quickly learn that he needs to have Wheaties or he needs larger wrenches for the job, the right wrench for the job. And watch what's going to happen. He's not going to hold back. Oh, he did it. I had money that the whole thing was going to turn You could tell it was a handyman. He's got the Teflon and dope everywhere. Damn. That was a town with that. That's a lot. That is a lot. You have the... Oh, you don't have the mini monster yet. No. I should give you some, shouldn't I? From the folks over at... Uh, not Green Art Supply. What was the name of that company? Green Witch? I don't know. Green... From, they're from Delaware. Our friends from Delaware. The guy has a plumbing supply house. Greenberg? I don't remember. It's, some, it's definitely a Jew name. I think it's Greenberg. Let me go check. Hold on. Definitely a Shiksa. But I was right. See? Definitely a Jew name. Greenberg. See? And they're in Delaware. Fifth and Church Streets in Delaware. These guys are awesome. Yesterday, they sent us a care package with the calendars as well, right? It is Miss January. January. We got this nice care package. Look at this. And people made reference to the brushes but holy sh ship you oh my god two inch oh my god it's oh my god it's amazing <laughs> all right but the mini monster look at this the mini monster one inch oh this is three quarter and this is half inch this is so cute by the way perfect for daniel's son because he's small and tiny and then we have this this is by milrose and these are Thin coil whisk brushes. I like these. I'm gonna give one to Daniel, son. We have pipe rope. All right, so let's give him a little care pack. Let's give him one, one. I gotta show him this though. This is epic. And I give him a brush too. Daniel, I came with gifts, and it was. I was right. It is a Jew company, Greenberg. Okay. And I can say this because I am a Jew. Okay. All right. So yeah, it is what it is. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. But first. We'll, we'll show him this last. Would you like that? Oh, yeah. I, I oh, look at, him, look at him. He's like a kid in a candy store on Christmas. All right, so that's yours. All right. And again, there it is. People are asking in yesterday's video, like, you know, or I saw a comment. Like, what is the, is a, where's a link to that brush? And there it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to give him 
I'm gonna give him the the mini monster three quarter, the mini monster half inch. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is nice, right? And I'm not gonna give this to you, but this is I. I this thing is epic. I like to see your expression on your face. Ready? Oh. <laughs> The two How inch. Are you gonna even use that? I don't know, but you can use it on. Oh. We could use it on steam pipe, steam but it's it's a it's a waste. But it looks so neat. I know it does, but it's a huge, huge waste. Let's look inside this thing. I can't believe it's this big. It can't be. But it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that. Now that's a monster. Before I leave, let's just increase my brand presence. There you go. This is version 1.0. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. If you want any free stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Details in the description box down below if you would like to get a whole bunch of them. This you got, got a lot of stuff in there. This 5 16 and quarter inch. Oh. Is it ratcheting? No. Oh. This one. Klein. That's nice. It's nice. I need a, sometimes it help, pays, helps to have a little bit longer, though, but... This is the Vito TP XXL. This is the one that um, last year, uh, actually earlier this year, when I had a ride along, when Wayne from Connecticut came with me for the day, he brought this bag, and I've been addicted ever since. I have the. This senses twelve volts. I just got non-contact it. electrical testers that senses twelve volts. Yeah. Very nice. Excellent, and it's by. But it had a lot, it had like 8,000 five stars on Amazon, so I trusted it. <laughs> you can't trust Amazon reviews. Where did this go? Right, here. right there. Okay. And you have, you have a meter in there? Yeah. That's what, kind, right. what kind of meter do you have in there? Line. Okay, very nice. I don't know what it is. I'm going to get a new one though. Okay. All right, well, let Daniel vacuum out the combustion chamber. And then he'll follow that. Oh, he's got his brush there. He yeah, likes that brush. Gonna use it. He's going to use it now. Clean the, Clean the burners. Very nice. <laughs> Good oh. job. And once we're done cleaning the combustion chamber and the burners, then we could finish up and do a combustion test, making sure that the system is burning properly and safely. Let's go Bosch. Again, we have Bosch t-shirts available. Details in the description box down below. You're not going to find that on spring.com. You're only going to find it directly from Mikey Pipes. Are you good? I am good. Okay, so you have a pressure troll just in case you need it. All right. We must make sure that the uh, pressure, it turns off in pressure. So it'll be here for a little bit longer. Yeah. Make sure you put a drip leg on the water heater relief valve. I will. And uh, I would make reference that you, it is a little bit of moisture there because I put my finger in, in it. But... Um, again, don't, it's not act, it's not like flooding, but it's a concern. Maybe you should monitor it, or if he wants to, you know, save a trip, we could do it now while we're here, mm -hmm. right? It's a long shank, you should have one in your truck. Mm -hmm. All right, you're good? Uh, I was going to ask. Yes. I should check first, but I'm not sure how much three quarter I have. Do three quarter pipe? To make a drip leg. Okay. I usually just have short little legs. Okay, I'll, I'll check, I'll leave you, give you a piece before I leave them. All right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, you're in good hands. I just want to give him some guidance. All right. But you're good. Okay. Uh, we're going to schedule you for like maybe Wednesday. He'll go over the schedule for next week to open up the ceiling. Okay. And uh, here's a few stickers for you. Oh. <laughs> Selfie And first. we can take a, take a picture. Of course. Let's take a picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm there to give him some guidance. We are, we noticed that, I didn't get, I don't think I got any video of it, but two bathrooms, first floor, second floor, there used to be radiators in there, and they took them out and just closed the valves. Well, one valve is leaking, it's inside the wall, so, and the other one is leaking below the floor, the second floor bathroom. We're going to open up the ceiling in the basement to expose the steam main header, the steam main, right? And we're going to cut the lines and then cap them. He doesn't want the radiators in there anymore. Um, he just wants them out. And I said, all right, well, once we do this, it's, you're never going to go back. It, or it'll be very hard to reconnect. He goes, no, Mike, Mikey, I want them out. I'm like, okay. We're going to come back after the New Year's. 
we'll uh, come back. I'll come back with the other mic. We'll open up the ceiling in the, in the washer and dry area, which is in the basement, and already platted everything out. And we have some one inch there. We're just going to cut it out and uh, cap or, or plug. All right, I'm going to another service call right now. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, I don't know if I'll record any of it, but uh, we installed this Burnham SIN6 on Monday as the emergency. The previous boiler was condemned and it flooded out the whole house because the homeowner accidentally left the boiler feed valve open and flooded out everything. She's complaining of a smell coming from the radiators and the smell is, is normal, it's expected. Why? Because you had an excess of over 75 gallons of water in steam piping that's normally an open system that stirred up all of the, you know, that 100 year old steam pipe and stirred up all that crap in all the radiators and now you have an odor. You know, you'll get like a musty smell coming from that because you stirred up all the piping. So I'm gonna try to comfort her, and give her some little Mikey Pipes love, and maybe we'll check the uh, condition of the, the surge X that I put in. And if, may, if necessary, maybe we'll have to add another one or drain the boiler and add it. So if I get some video of it, great. If not, be well, God bless, stay safe. Well, it's actually going to be for a New Year's Eve video. Sorry, guys. It is, you know, after pulling up to the house, seeing what was going on with the steam boiler, I decided it's best that it should needs to be its own video. And I think it's around 20, 25 minutes long. Um, and the title of the video will be somewhat related to, you know, your steam boiler system gets flooded with water. What do you do? How do you take care of it? How do you treat the system? So worthy of its own ending video for 2021. It's going to be epic. So, guys, if you guys want any hats, details in the description box down below. You can't get these from spring.com. Just like you can't get the Let's Go Bosch shirts from spring.com. You can only get them from me, Mikey Pipes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, really appreciate it if you subscribe. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.